This is Tony Sheena, owner of Mosaic Security, a private military company that provides elite forces level security for their clients. Tony has a VIP coming into Caracas tomorrow, who will need to guard. While providing highly trained security for VIPs like Pablo is one role PMCs play, it's really just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, the international private military industry has been exploding over the last 20 years. A private military company, a PMC, is private companies taking on roles that have traditionally been done by the military and intelligence agencies, by the broader national security complex. A private military company, to me, is a company that is prepared to carry out full-on offensive military operations under a contract. Uh, you know, you pay us a load of money and we will help you win your war. We have this assumption of war and who fights it. A man in uniform, and that uniform to us means, well, they're part of a national military. And when you look at the 21st century, that image in our mind, it just doesn't hold true. And these companies have taken on all the different roles of war, everything from the back-end logistics to training and consulting to the tactical battlefield roles. Pretty much it's the new American way of war. Whether you're talking about Iraq or now Afghanistan, roughly half of the force there is private military. In fact, business is so good that the global market for private security services is projected to reach $218 billion in 2014. And as more and more aspects of modern war and security are outsourced to PMCs, these companies are poised to grow even larger. Outsourcing is always about cost savings. It's the number of people that you don't have to call up from your National Guard and Reserves to take on these roles. Deaths, injuries, capture of private military contractors doesn't resonate into the political world the same way it does for someone in the military. So we're seeing everything from companies that have been operating in Iraq now doing things like counter piracy operations off Somalia to the emergence of Chinese private security companies operating in Africa, or the Russians use private contractors during their Crimea operation. When we look at the future frontiers of the private military industry, they reflect the next frontiers of war. PMCs are as American as, uh, as Thanksgiving Day. First colonies were started by contractors. They were hired to secure the logistics of private companies. Massachusetts Bay and Plymouth colonies were, uh, were private endeavors. You know, look, I started Blackwater as a way to stay connected to the SEAL teams. When our customers called us, we ran very hard to fill their needs. We were mischaracterized as out-of-control mercenaries. And the fact is, we were American veterans serving America again, getting paid on a competitively bid contract. Full stop. How did you get into all of this? So I left the army because the money wasn't good enough for what I was getting paid to do. Why would I do five years in Iraq in the army and earn 120 grand when I can do two years in Iraq and earn 400 grand? Uh, certainly in my era, anybody who was any good in the army isn't in the army anymore. Where I get worried is when you start saying, no, the way forward is for combat operations to be privatized and given out wholesale to the private sector. There are certain things that armies have to do and a way of doing them that should not be in the private sector. These guys are fighting for money. They're not fighting for the state. They're not fighting out of a sense of duty or patriotism. When it gets serious is if you get a PMC that starts to get excessively muscular. The line between defense and offense gets very quickly blurred. So immediately, any decent soldiers will start thinking, instead of sitting here waiting to be shot, why don't we go out there and bag the bad guys before they manage to shoot us? And suddenly, you know, the rules start to get bent. 